Brakis, probably the father of game development tutorials, left his channel for over three years. However, a week ago, he announced that he was back to YouTube and surprisingly, he would not be uploading Unity tutorials. On the other hand, quite the opposite, he would be uploading good old courses. Now, good news. He has just uploaded a complete new good old course where he will teach you how you can start in this amazing engine by creating a complete game. Let's take a look at this course that Brakis has just uploaded. So let's firstly talk a, a little bit about Brakis in general. As you probably know, Brakis is a YouTube channel that most of his content is about Unity games and C Sharp, okay? And also there were some more general videos about uh, game design and game development such as um, how to make your game look good with some color theory, um, how to rig some players, etc. So it was probably, it is actually one of the biggest uh, game development channels worldwide. But well, suddenly he posted a video saying that uh, he wasn't anymore going to be uploading content in his channel and indeed he didn't upload it uh, content for it such such a, a long time because he was a little bit burned out, I think, and he wanted to focus on uh, other things. Other important thing that you should know is that then here in community, uh, besides his game jumps uh, that he uh, has been doing for a while, um, so about seven months ago when there was a lot of controversy about uh, the unity runtime fee he surprisingly posted here uh something different besides what he was uh, used to posting i'm 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 talking about game jumps that as you can see it's everything about game jumps about his game jump okay so when he posted this of course as you can see it was quite um quite a, a hot topic because well you can see here the likes okay 1.5k of like and here 7.4 uh, basically well here he posted that a, a little bit of his opinion about the unity a uh, right time fee uh, and also here quite importantly here we have uh, many of you have been asking for us to produce new tutorial series on alternative engines such as Godot, which is currently the most advanced open source and community funded game engine. I don't know yet if it is something that we can realize and when. I can only say that I have started learning Godot. Okay, so basically here was when Bracky started to know a little bit more about Godot when he started to actually learn a little bit about Godot. But well, since then, we didn't have literally any other news about Godot, about the Bracky's, etc nothing besides his game jumps okay but well then um a week ago he uploaded this video the future of game development and well yeah we can see a lot of differences in his face in his body since then the hairstyle for example but well um also in the video style i think it it is a little bit different with this kind of footage of, with him in real life so yes i think that he's gonna be changing a little bit the the style of his videos that we are also going to be analyzing that on the good old course and oh, well well here he he does a walkthrough about what he has been going through uh with game development about his burnout uh some other let's say a humoristic footage also here uh, buying a blender that he was talking about blender oh, well basically here he explains a lot of things about um how open source uh engines actually work he takes the example of blender versus uh other pieces of software that are paid but they do a, an interesting uh, job as well as open source um software so basically here he explains it say the difference about uh open source and not open source software in a not open source software like unity you have the users then the company that creates the program but on the other hand, in open source software, are the users that modify the program, that have access to the program. Because they can copy all the code as it is open source. Well, basically, he was explaining here lots of things about monetization, engines, etc. Okay. Um, and well, then here at the end, it's when he starts uh, talking more about good old engine. Um, and he concludes here saying... Uh, that well, he he will uh, soon will start creating things here uh, in the Godot engine, right? In in this part, it was here. I was said hello and welcome to our first video about Godot. And well, here the video uh, would end. Okay, so then he 
he got us here uh, waiting. But well, as you can see, two hours ago, he posted uh, this new course. And now let's analyze it a little bit. So, of course, it's quite difficult to actually summarize all the important information in just uh, a couple of minutes when the course is one hour. But, of course, what I can tell you that the video quality that Brackis used to have is right here and even better than it used to be. Uh, I think that it is, it is even better. Uh, because here we have these amazing animations. The footage that he's using is just amazing. Uh, and also, as you can see here in the middle, he has this interesting uh, few footage uh, in real life so it's also something that adds quite a lot to the to the course here also the video editing that he's using is just super amazing um look at all that all those animations all this uh interface that he's creating this just makes the video much more immersive you are able to learn much better okay because of course all these elements can really help you a lot in order to understand better how the Wirral Engine works. So it's really a course that you should watch right now, okay? Because well, here he's explaining the difference between uh, different nodes and how is the actual workflow in Wirral. And well, then he starts uh, to create right away the player, okay? You have here the chapters, so it's quite easy to go over the different things. Again, here, for example, with world building, he's gonna be using the tile map in order to create the, the level. Okay, and again, with all these animations and different resources that he uses, it is super easy to understand literally every single click that he does. So yes, the quality and the flow of Rakis is still there, okay? Just, I think that it is even better, it's even more polished. The explanations I have been checking are just amazing. It's impossible for you not to understand what he's saying at all, even if you haven't coded before. Um, and well, overall, Again, the for example here when he explains the delta parameter that is quite something tricky maybe for beginners by using all these kind of animations uh, and visual assets it's much more easier for you to understand. Um, so keep in mind that always brackets are having good, uh, but right now with this new editing style let's say and when and now that he's back with even more energy that he used to have. Tutorials will have even a better quality that they used to have. Therefore, you should really uh, stay tuned to Bracky's channel due to the fact that probably he will continue posting interesting things about Goodout. Maybe he also uploads uh, some things related to Unity or more general game development, as I was telling you at the beginning. Maybe some general tips, advices, tricks for game developers in spite of the engines that they use. Uh, and also something quite interesting that here at the end says, okay, also it teaches you in literally like two minutes, even less than that, how to export your game for Windows. So it's super comprehensive. And other thing that I wanted to show you is where to go from here. That's uh, the, the last chapter. Because yes, you have created a game, you have exported it, but well, actually here, uh, Brackis tell you what other steps you should take basically it tells you, okay, so take a look at the documentation if you want to understand deeper uh, what the code works, start to modify how the the game work and start adding some features. For example, you can start to expand the level, create more platforms, create more coins, etc. You can start tweak them because as you have created the tile map, you can literally add whatever you want, you can add more effects, you can have particles, animations, etc. So it's also quite good the fact that it gives you a kind of list that you can go through in order to even improve more uh, your game development skills. So for sure, you have to take a look at this course, uh, watch it completely from beginning to the end, and you will have an amazing, amazing course from the biggest content creator uh, about game development. And remember to stay tuned to his channel due to the fact that he will be uploading more good old content. So indeed, the father probably of game development tutorials is back. Maybe the comeback was a little bit surprisingly in terms of the engine that uh, he he started he's using right now due to the fact that well most of his audience I think uses Unity, even though a lot of people after the Unity runtime fee issue started to use Groot. Well, maybe it's gonna be a little difficult for him to actually target the Groot audience after having built such massive community using Unity. But well, for sure, he will uh, still keep on 
creating amazing videos with amazing quality and overall amazing quality for you to learn. So this is all for today's video. I hope that these news have been helpful for you, that you are now happy with this. I am, so I hope you are too. Uh, subscribe for my channel in order to receive notifications when I upload new content and you can stay up to date with the latest uh, game development news. So uh, if this video has actually been helpful, please let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe for more content and see you in the next one. Bye bye.